So in these episodes, we're gonna talk about spines, we're gonna know all about them, we're gonna see how to ride them, how to approach them, what to be careful of, et voila! Today we're gonna focus on what requires really a specific technique. Those Alaskan spines that you see in all these big Alaska movies. These kind of spines are usually on really steep walls. And they basically happen when the temperature starts to rise towards the end of the season. Throughout the different storms, there's going to be a bit of snow running down all the time and it's going to go down into these funnels and create these spines. I remember one of the first time I went to Alaska with Jeremy. He kept on saying, oh, our thing in Alaska is always after a big storm, we're going to avoid all the kind of mellow, tranquil run and we're going to go straight to the spine walls because they're the safe one. If you're onto a spine, you're always above everything around you. So any slough, any kind of slide will always have a tendency to go around you. The first time you're going to get into spine, you're going to get lost no matter how good of a rider you are. It's really important to know that it's a very specific technique. The first rule when you ride spines is to not spend time at the bottom of the runnel. You're going to traverse those runnels, but you're going to go from one spine to the next, because that's going to be always your island of safety. Like those runnels emphasize the slough like crazy. So at the bottom of the runnel, because it's very narrow, there's going to be so much power with that slough. So that's the zone to avoid. So like always when riding slough, it is important to make a few turns full line and then go one way or the other, but always stick to the same direction. So you're going away from your slough. One thing that is sure is that on a snowboard, being hillside on the spine is always very uncomfortable. So as soon as there's going to be like a little technical moment, you might want to choose your toe side. And the cool thing about toe side with snowboarding is that you can literally grab the spine. So when you're at that stage of being literally hugging the spines to just stay alive, it means that it's really good and really deep. <laughs> On spines, it's actually pretty easy to just white room yourself, to spray in front of you so that you don't see anything. So then once again, it's really important to know what's going to be after so that you can carry your speed and get away from those sprays. So finding your way on spines can be really difficult because if you have several spines, they will all look slightly the same. So it's really good when you scope your line to really count them and to being at the top and count them again so you know more or less where your exit is going to be. This is it, you know all about spines. And even though they appear in very specific conditions and very specific terrain, if you get to ride spines one day, you will remember them for the rest of your life. 